well this is exercise 1.3 in the textbook pages 85 and 86 in this examples 1 to 27 we are evaluating the limit by the method uh, I discussed earlier uh, video and uh, this is the limit of a polynomial function this is the limit of a radical function radical uh, limit of a inverse function the limit of a rational function and uh, this is the limit of a what you call uh, a trigonometric function this is rationalization this is also rationalization you can leave this 18 20 and 27 so try all these questions and of course in the live uh, class next week i will take uh, some of these examples and you keep ready uh, your questions uh, and uh, here you need not worry about the theory you are only concerned about the examples so we have studied in the earlier two different methods of finding the limit one numerically and other graphically now we come to this what you call finding the limit directly by different methods okay so these things i uh, will discuss in the live class more details and uh, we have a uh, another what you call some examples here uh, application that is how we apply the concept of limit uh, in uh, what you call real life problems so these questions also i will uh, discuss in the live class and of course uh, in the live class it is uh, not going to be a theory the theory part everything you have to watch as many times as you want and then uh, uh, node uh, you focus on problem solving only so i will do these problems in the, the live class so let's come to the next the continuity so note that uh, i have uh, shown you here four graphs and if you look at the graph carefully we have uh, the limit what you call when uh, limit exists here you see I come from the left hand side you are approaching this value this is the function yes y and this is the value of x okay so the left hand side limit is this and the right hand limit is this that means here the value here is the limit means limit exists here but what happens here the value of the function is not exist that means when x is equal to a there is no y because of the open circle that means when x is equal to a there is no y but left hand side limit exists right hand side limit exists here the left hand side limit when i come from the left hand side it is this so this is your left side when i come from the right hand side i am coming here so this is your right hand limit so left hand side limit is here right hand side limit is here and they are different therefore limit does not exist if because of the different limit but when x is equal to a then the value of a exists because you see at this a although there is an open circle but I am looking at the closed circle here. So the value of x exists when uh, sorry fx is exist when x is equal to a. Here the left hand side limit exists, right hand side limit exists, the value exists and uh, the limit does not exist because the left hand limit and the right hand limit are different. In this example left hand side limit exists you see it come you come from the left you have this is your limit you come from the right you have this limit and uh, left hand limit equal right hand limit equal so they are equal therefore the limit exists but when x is equal to a the value of uh, y is this so look at it the left hand limit exists right hand limit exists therefore the limit exists but uh, when x is equal to a you have a different here right so here in this case 
what happens when I come from the left hand side it is increasing without limit. When I am coming from the right hand side the value of the y is increasing beyond limit. Therefore, I say here is what fa not defined but the limit exists. fa defined but the limit does not exist because left hand limit and right hand limit are different. Limit exists but and fa defined but they are different. Here the limit does not exist at all. So, look at it these are all the examples of not continuity not continuity that means this graph this graph this graph this graph is not continuous at x is equal to a so this is not the question uh, examples of continuity these are the example of discontinuity that means the these four are not continuous at x is equal to a means the definition look at it for a function f defined in an on an open interval containing a that means the a should be uh, i mean below i mean it is in the open interval then the limit of f x as x tending to a must be equal to f a that means what is the meaning of the left hand side the limit must exist means left hand limit and the right hand limit must exist and they must be equal. What is this? This is the value of the function that is limit value and the value of the function it is equal then we say that it is continuous at x is equal to a. If they are not equal we say that the function is discontinuous at x is equal to a. Means for f to be continuous at x is equal to a fa must be defined that means you should be able to find defined in the sense you should get a real number it should not be plus infinity infinity or minus infinity and the limit must also exist when i say limit exists that means right hand limit right hand limit both exist and both must be equal then this value fa and this limit value must be same not different then we say that the function is continuous means we have a, a relation between the limit and infinity let me just give again a definition of limit you see that limit of a function f x exists if and only if one sided limits are equal that is left hand limit a right hand limit equal and they are equal to L therefore the limit of f x is equal to L. When we say that the continuity see that f c exists that is value of the function when x is equal to c exists limit exists that is left hand side limit right hand side limit exists and this value of the function and this the limit value should be same. So, this is how we define the limit and continuity. So, this is an example here where uh, we are finding, uh, we are solving uh, one example determine where fx is continuous. That means we need to take here what you call the function and when we have to say that when this particular function is continuous. So, for that what we do that this fx is continuous when the denominator is not 0 means what this x minus 1 is not equal to 0 when x minus 1 is not equal to 0 means x is not equal to 1. So, therefore, we say that this function is continuous for x not equal to 1 if x is equal to 1 it is not defined then it is not continuous. So, that is the reason here how to find how to determine for a uh, how to determine a function is continuous just take the denominator not 0 and uh, uh, find the value of x for that value it is not uh, I mean you exclude it then you say that 
it is continuous. So that means f is continuous for all the values which is not equal to 1. So exactly in the similar way, if you want to find the continuity of a function that is a rational function again, so what we do here is we take the denominator not 0, that is this never 0. So we have a, this we do the factorization and this gives me minus 1, this gives me 4. So therefore, f is continuous for all value of x except minus 1 and 4. That means f is continuous for all values of x not equal to minus 1, not equal to 4. So this is continuous for all values of x except 1. This is continuous for all the values of x except minus 1 and 4. So, in this example, what we are doing here is that we extend the function, the earlier one, to make it continuous everywhere. Right? And uh, what we are going to do now, we rewrite this function. I mean the earlier question, we rewrite here. This question, right? We rewrite it here. So, gx is equal to this. It is continuous when x is not equal to 1. And uh, a, so we do not know. We need to find this when x is equal to a. So, we have to define this now. So, what do you do? First of all, we find the limit of this. Am I right? So, to find the limit of this, I take the limit of this as x tending to 1 and it is a rational function, then you have a denominator 0 when I put x is equal to 1 and therefore I must cancel it. So I will take the what you call factorize this. When I factorize this, you will get x plus 3 and x minus 1. So x minus 1 get cancelled, get this. So limit of gx as x tending to 1 is equal to 4. So to make this function continuous at uh, all the values, I mean continuous everywhere and uh, what we will do that, I will take this, this what you call this is the limit value and this is the actual value. So what I will do, this actual value and this limit value must be the same. So according to the definition, limit of gx as x tending to 1 is 4, g of n 1 is 4. So this is the value of the function at x is equal to 1. This is the limit of the function at as x tending to close to 1 and this and this must be this. So therefore, g is continuous at x is equal to 4. That means we are extending the function and uh, making it continuous everywhere by defining at a single point. So this is I define first and then I find the limit. And this limit value I am equating, this limit value is nothing but it is the value of a. So we have again some exercises here and uh, note that uh, this is all uh, in this case determined where is the fx is continuous. So you have to make the denominator 0 and here you are going to check the definition of the continuity and uh, in, I mean uh, check, uh, find out at what value of, uh, I mean, uh, for why these are all continuous and uh, where they are, uh, what you call, not continuous. And in this case, uh, this is some uh, application of uh, continuity problem. And in this last case, what are we going to do now? We are uh, here in this uh, 39 and 40, 41, the given functions are continuous. And uh, using that concept, you are going to find out this A, B, and uh, whatever the unknown a b are here so these questions i will be uh, doing in uh, my live class more detail so what we understood in uh, video lecture number one so what are the different methods of finding limits what is continuity how limit and continuity are related and some of the examples we have done here so that's the end of uh, video lecture number one uh, uh, this has been divided into two parts, 15 means each. So, we will move to the second video of week number 2. Thank you.